The police and prison civil rights union was marching to the union buildings in Pretoria today. The union is calling for an end to police killings, a revised promotions policy and a new shift system. They also want the Department of Correctional Services to deal with overcrowding at the country's prisons. Members have been holding lunchtime pickets over the past few weeks as a build up to today. They plan on handing over their list of concerns to four government ministers, including of health and transport. The union's Richard Mamabolo says all those taking part will be on official leave. We're now going to cross live to Afro Worldview reporter Nobusutu Hejana. Nobusutu, over to you. All right, so very good afternoon to you, Tabo, and the viewers at home. Uh, prop crew members have arrived at the union building where they're expected uh, to hand over their memorandum of grievances. Uh, but just to get more clarity on the story, as we've been following it and speaking to some members of Pop Crew, we're now joined by the president of Pop Crew, Utatu Tabekulu, who's just going to be telling us, yes, they will hand over the memorandum, but what is the next step? Thank you very much, sir, for your time. Can you just tell us or take us through the planning that you've made as the members and also as the president. How long did it take Pop Crew to plan this march and why today? Yes, I think uh, as Pop Crew, we have planned this march as from April uh, this year because of uh, issues that are confronting us, that are working conditions of correctional services, police, Department of Traffic. But today we'll be including the Department of Health because the issues of health are also affecting us adversely. And uh, we, we plan this much. Uh, we're bringing it here to the union building because now we're bringing it to the attention of the president. Because uh, uh, since issues that we are raising are issues that come all the, all the way from 2009 up until today, we have been very patient from 2009 for these issues to be addressed. They are not being addressed. And they are affecting our members in all these departments where we are organizing. In the Department of Police, we are saying it's more than 20 years now talking about police killing. And the police killing, the South African Police Service have got no answer to police killings. And we, our members are dying every day. Uh, there is no day without a police killing. And uh, this does not only affect us, it affects members, families and everybody. As well as the issue of agreements that we have reached in the police that talks to bringing together public service and police service because there are two streams of workers in the, in the, in the South African police service. We want one police service, all members being members in terms of the Police Act provisions. When you go to correctional services, it's a circus there. It's a circus. We've got agreements that we signed in 2009. Till today, they have not been met. We say to the president, please help us, because nobody wants to listen. We've got no policy on, 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 on shift. Uh, each and every center use its own shift system without, a hence this is a national department. There is no promotion policy in that department. There is no money, we are told there is no money to employ new members in that, what we call, in that department. Yet, there is extreme shortages in the prisons. Prison officials are in extreme shortage in terms of personnel. We are saying to them, to the president, these are issues that come all the way from 2009, and ministers have been replacing ministers, and there is no answer to these pro to these problems. Okay, you were saying that you've been patient for all of these years. Um, what is the next step? Obviously, you've been handing over the memorandum of your grievances. Then, how long are you giving the president or the government to deal with your issues? We are giving the, 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 all the department, the Department of the Police, Department of Correctional Service, Department of Health, on, because that is where we demand national health insurance implementation. We are saying to them, we give them 14 days, and we have got a program that we, can, we will 
take it to the NEC, give approval. If given approval, we will unleash it because this is the beginning of a fight for the rights of better conditions in these services. Thank you very much, sir. Indeed, they're saying that they're giving uh, all these stakeholders 14 days to deal with their issues. And also, they are going to come back because they're saying that this is a violation of many workers' rights. But I'm also joined by the COSATU member who's just going to be telling us about, uh, sorry if I pronounce, uh, is it, yes, it's COSATU, uh, who's just going to be telling us about their support for POP crew. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your time. Obviously, you've came as COSATU to join POP crew members in this uh, fight. Uh, what is it that you want to see happen, especially to the members who are complaining about their rights being violated in these three departments? Okay, thank you very much for having us here. Indeed, COSATU is here to support Pop Crew. And the reasons behind it, not only because Pop Crew is our affiliate as a federation, but important is because it organizes a very critical aspect of our society, that is police, uh, co uh, correctional services personnel, including traffic officers. And the importance of ensuring that government adheres to agreements that were signed is to ensure that workers, when they are called essential services, in these fears that I've mentioned, it is important that they are not only essential for them to remain at work and not be able to take on the streets, but it is important that when you call those um, services essential, it means that you must ensure that the salary that you pay those workers, it is such that a worker who is deemed as essential services is able to say, I wake up in the morning energetic to go to work because I've got a responsibility not only to myself and my family but to the country as a whole. So the working conditions, the tools of work for these pop crew members is critical. You can't expect police to respond when there is a crisis that is taking place in our communities when they have no protective clothing to such, such, that, so, such that they, they are able to lose limbs or life. So we are saying as a federation that our government must ensure that when you call these workers, essential services workers, you also ensure that their employment and their services of employment are essential. You can't expect, for an example, a police to mend police stations when the ratio of police and the community living in that section is such that there is no balance because it means they will be overworked and underpaid and it puts a lot of strain to them and the only people that are going to complain it is us as community members not understanding the conditions that these police are working under so we're here to support uh, pope crew to say to government respond to these issues because they are critical and if you want to deem them essential understand that essential comes with all the necessities to enable them to do their work uh, 14 days, Tabo, to respond to the grievances by pop crew members. But I must also emphasize, though, it's not only the police officers. There are also traffic officials as well as correctional services uh, officers. But uh, the program is going to start where the leaders are going to address the members and the, memora the memorandum will be handed over to, to a representative that has been called uh, to accept it. All right, uh, Nobisutu, thank you so much uh, for your time. Much appreciated there. That's our reporter, Nobisutu Herjana, uh, who's outside the union buildings in Pretoria, where we know that members of the police, uh, prison, civil rights union are marching over a variety of issues, including improved pay, as well as new shift systems and policies regarding promotion.